Good morning children class 3 today in this video I will explain you chapter number 6 that is file management organization of folder so let's start with it file organization arranging and storing the files in a certain order is called file organization okay we can get the information easily and quickly if the files are arranged in a proper manner. For example, in library, if the books are arranged properly, then we can get any book easily from the bookshelf, yes or no? So here you can see some files. This is a PDF file. This is a Word document file. This is PowerPoint file. And this is the icon of an excel file okay what is file and folder file a file is the basic unit of storage in a computer it is used to store data in many different forms it is identified by a unique file name the format or type of a file is identified by its extension okay Similarly, folder. A folder is used to store a set of related files. That is, we can store the files in a folder also. Okay. Folder helps in storing and organizing files and data in the computer. It is also identified by a unique name. A folder can contain other folders in it called the subfolders. Okay. The folders that are stored inside any other folder are known as subfolders. Okay. Creating a file. To create any file, an application software is required depending upon the type of the file to be created. For example, a text file can be created using a text editor whereas a well formatted document can be created using a word processor okay steps to create a word document are click on start then all programs then microsoft office and then ms word 2010 or whichever version you are using saving a file if you want to use your file in future so you should always save it to save a file what steps needs to be followed click on file tab then save as then specify a file name and at last click on save button you can see the image here this is your save as dialog box you will mention the name of the file and then if you want to choose the file type you can choose the type here and then click on save button all right Next is creating a folder. We can create folders in, at two places. One is on the desktop and another is on a location other than desktop. Okay. So first we will discuss desktop. Right click on the blank area of the desktop. Then you will get this type of menu. See new and then folder. Okay. After this. You can specify a file name or you can rename it later also and at last press the enter key. Now you can create a folder on a location other than desktop. How? See. To create any folder inside any drive, select the location or drive and then click on new and then folder. Drive means C drive, D drive and so on okay so click on new and then folder see here also new and then folder okay and you will get your folder created at any location other than the desktop in this way okay next is opening a folder there are two ways of opening a folder that is first simply double click on the folder icon or second way is right click on the folder and click on 
open option as you can see here the second option is this new folder is there and after doing the right click on this folder we will get this drop down menu and then we will click on this op open option okay in this way you can open any folder all right so children i hope this much is clear to all of you thank you children <laughs>